Thank you so much to DraftKings for sponsoring this portion of today's video. There's nothing like staying home, being inside, and having fun. And with DraftKings, you can do just that. Now, you guys already know we love DraftKings so much. And if you haven't heard of DraftKings, DraftKings is the number one online casino with over 300 real money games. And we have a really exciting offer to give you guys from DraftKings themselves. So are you ready to tell them about this offer, babe? Listen, we always put them on, so we might as well. <laughs> All new customers who sign up with our promo code Trisha and Cam and do a $5 minimum deposit will get an instant deposit match up to $100 in casino credits. That is a crazy offer, and honestly, if I were you guys, I would go do that right now if you're 21 and over. And lock in into the fun. Like I said, there's nothing like having fun at home on DraftKings. Now Cameron loves his blackjack, but I do love my slots, and DraftKings offers over 175 different slot games, including your favorites and also a ton of different assortments of DraftKings exclusives. If you don't have DraftKings available in your state yet, make sure you do check out DraftKings Daily Fantasy app, where you can win cash prizes all season long. Yeah, so we love DraftKings for so many different reasons, but the main three reasons is that it's safe, secure, and reliable. So make sure you guys take up that offer that we're telling you guys about. Use our code right here on the screen and make a minimum deposit of $5 or more to get your deposit instantly matched up to $100 in casino credits. And thank you so much to DraftKings for sponsoring this part of today's video. Oh, how I love seafood boil mukbangs. Honestly, I think the last time we did one of these was on your stream and I was pregnant and I don't even think I could have like full blown crab legs like that. It's actually facts. The last time we actually had a seafood boil. Mm -hmm. I mean, I had ordered me some. Well, yeah, before. you've had them like probably yeah. like twice since that time. But for me, this is the first time I'm having it since I was pregnant. So more than nine months ago. And then like, that's actually crazy because like how everything's lined up. Like you were pregnant when you were eating the and last this time, time I'm and this time it's just like yeah like it's crazy there's a main there's a big question that you guys really want to know there's a lot of big questions um, honestly yeah there's a lot of big questions and a lot of you guys want to know if trisha's pregnant um but let's not jump into that right now you know what i'm saying there's there's some more questions that you guys want to know mm -hmm. and honestly this year 2024 i'm starting sorry no go ahead it's going to be the best year for mm -hmm. me and trisha ever yeah for multiple because, reasons yeah for multiple reasons what's the first question First question is, how come you guys don't hang out with everyone all the time? So I'm guessing this is kind of pertaining to us hanging out with friends that you guys have seen in the past. And one thing I feel like people don't realize is that people have lives. Things have changed, people have kids, people move. There's a lot of things that have happened, including for Cameron and I, like we have a baby now yeah. and we can't just pick up and go like we used to be. Oh God, like look, check this out, ready? First of all, like a lot of you guys keep asking about like friends and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Well, listen, me and Trisha, like ever since we had Kyla, bro, we feel like our life has been completed. Like, yeah, when you have a baby and you finally create a family from like, like when you don't have like such like a oriented like family, family, like you guys do like family things all the time, and then you create your own family to the point where you could do like you could finally fulfill that missing piece. That's, a really good that's way to put all it. you. That's all you need at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Like me and Trisha are just so happy with like us being us like, yeah, like living like. our day to day once you do have a kid a lot does change obviously yes. um, like parents can really understand that god bless you baby everything really does change and even just the simple fact of cameron and i you guys know we used to go down to like miami once a month and it's like now we have to strategically plan when we go places we need to figure out sometimes, you guys have bro, to remember we have dogs too sometimes so. we don't want to go anywhere but Thanks. if we are gonna see like some people that you know that are friends that we used to hang out with and stuff like that like mm -hmm. if you do see us with them like now at this point we really try to like make amends to like try to be there at like you know they got something going on like yeah, something course. big going on as far as that me and Trisha are very happy just living mm -hmm. as a family of three right now like, yeah so you guys gotta understand just because we're not around other people doesn't mean that there's a problem there and you guys make everything huge bro like you all try to be dragging stuff out and try to make up like things like that problems happen and stuff like that like it's really not that serious i just i'm honestly just obsessed with my family like, <laughs> i rather hang out with my family than anybody else like on god like i love my family oh. to the most and i'll crash out by my family so <laughs> Best believe that I'll crash out. How spicy is your content on OF? Yeah. I'm just gonna sit there and say, if you wanna know, you gotta figure it out yourself. That's just what I'm gonna say. And where can we find that out? Like a bio. For the ones who are like, 
you know, for my boys out there who need something. All right, babe, like that's just <laughs> mad weird. Honestly, that is just so weird. <laughs> yeah, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. That's just so weird. How much was your most on OF in a month? Ooh, that's, that's a good a, question. That's a juicy question. I'm gonna say. Best, like your best month. So they're asking like, what was your highest month? Honestly, which was insane. I do have to say, it was literally insane. Like, it was like mind blowing, like, God. Damn near almost six figures. <laughs> God, y'all want to like understand how? Babe, babe, they get it. They get it. They Go understand. Check out yourself. They understand. Shit, or if you guys want it for free, add me on Snapchat. Whoa! I mean on Snap, you want to No, he really, he really be posting some crazy stuff of me on Snapchat. I'm not gonna lie. So this one, I saw a bunch of people ask. People want to know what are our plans for Kyla's first birthday. So look at this. This is crazy. I am so BC at taking out the meat. As I was on saying Snapchat. it. All right, babe. Our plans for Kyle's first birthday. We did tell you guys already that we are planning on doing something that's very oriented toward her and not necessarily about others. Yeah, so what's cool is that like you get to, like when you have a baby, you get to see like what they are interested in yeah. like before their birthday comes up. And that's how we kind of like me and Trisha are planning out her birthday and how we're going to do her birthday. Cause we sat there and we thought about like at the time she's been alive, like what is something that she's actually, what does she like? You know yeah. what I'm saying? What she's like, interested in. What makes her smile. Yep, there's a lot of things that make her smile. We had a couple different options of what we were gonna do. One of the things crashed out, like we weren't able to do it anymore. So then we obviously went to the other option. We didn't, we weren't really able to like, do it anymore because I don't know if you guys have seen, but there's been like a big travel like warning about like going to a lot of places because there's been a lot of crime recently. Yeah, so we have so it kind of messed up our first plans on what we wanted to do, mm -hmm. but it's all good because the second um, one was like a close runner up for us. Yeah, it was first, it was like what we really originally wanted to do yeah. at the beginning, and then mm -hmm. we switched it up. Um, but me and Trisha are, actually, we, we could tell them, right? It's not that big. Like, okay, fine. What we're doing for Kyle's birthday is we're actually going on a Disney cruise. As you guys know, we recently went on Carnival Cruise. And also, by the way, guys, have you guys seen that icon? Let me know in the comment section. Have you guys seen the icon of the seas? Yes. Yeah, that ship? Crazy. Oh my gosh, that ship is huge. Mm -hmm. Pause. Me and Trisha, actually, we really want to go on that one. Yeah, we do. But anyways, for Kyla's birthday, what we really wanted to do after we went on that cruise, we were like, dang, Kyla really loved the beach. She really loved the pool. She loved the music. She, she is loved, such a music baby. She loved the um the balcony yes. on the cruise. You guys don't understand. Like, if you're a parent, you know, like when you see the joys of like simple things, like the wind in your baby's face or like the baby playing in the sand and like, you see the joy on their face. We were like, I'd rather her go on a vacation where she can enjoy this days on days as opposed to us having a four hour birthday party. Right. Realistically, because especially for a one year old, birthday parties are more so for the older kids and the adults. Mm -hmm. That's just being real. And like, we were saying that we're like, bro, we don't want her birthday party to be like about us. Yeah. You know what I'm we want it to be about her. Mm -hmm. We want her to be able to do things. That she enjoys doing. Exactly. So yeah. for a one-year-old, how much can they do at a birthday party? Exactly. You know like she can go in the ball pit and stuff like that. The other kids are going to enjoy that more, which is fine. But I want to have like a first birthday for her that she's going to remember. So moral of the story is we decided to go on a vacation. We were going to go to the Atlantis because Kyla does love the aquarium. Yep. But um, we decide not to because there's like a big travel ban right now. So not a travel ban. It's just that like. Or like warning, I guess. Yeah, it's like a warning. There's a lot of crime going on yeah. right now, so. So we decided to go on a Disney cruise and we're gonna be going there. And then we're also gonna be doing a mini birthday party with our really, really, really close family. family. So we're just gonna be doing that. And you guys also have to remember, we're probably moving into our house at some point between now and then, so. Speaking of the house, we posted like a photo on Instagram saying like, like we signed our names on the wall. Yeah. This is gonna lead on to the next question. Yep. The big juicy question that you guys all have been waiting for. The reason why you guys clicked on this video. Facts. So you guys saw when we signed on our on the wall, Trisha or Trisha did Trisha, Cam, Kyla, and then she put 2024 and I said, put plus more. Yeah, you, know you guys like, couldn't hear that. He said that, but he did. And a lot of people were like, pregnant, pregnant, pregnant. Mm -hmm. Like, oh my God, oh my God, more? Question mark, more eye emojis? Like Trisha's pregnant, pregnant, pregnant. Mm -hmm. Trisha also posted a selfie on Instagram where she was wearing an orange dress. Uh -huh. And you guys were like looking at her stomach and you guys were like pregnant, like, yo, she's pregnant. We're honestly F people for that because you know what? Like as a new parent or as a new mom, I should say, 
cannot be judging people's body like that. I don't care who you are, what you think, da 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 da. You need to not judge on someone's post if they have a little belly that they're automatically pregnant. That just not needs to happen. That's just my little rant. Sorry. Wait, boy, you are pregnant. Guys, just I'm not pregnant. Just been nauseous. Yeah, I've been nauseous. I'm not pregnant though, guys. We always talked about more kids, and you guys know about you know more kids and everything else. Yeah. Like we don't want more kids in this apartment. Yeah. But like it's so crazy because like we have a house being built. Yeah. And so, now like, we know. Now we know like yo, we got more room. So it's like yo. And not only that, if I were to get pregnant, like even now, even if right now I was pregnant, it wouldn't matter because I wouldn't be delivering when we're living here. You know what I mean? Like, you know what's crazy? I I stay be like asking Trish. I'll be like, uh -huh. yo, Trish, like. Uh huh. Trish, like. You know, we just do it. Just like we got the house, like you know what I'm saying, like. Yeah, I need to ground us a lot of times. Kyla wants a sibling, right? No, Kyla? she does not. Kyla. Not yet. Kyla, you want a brother? You want a brother or sister? She put her. Oh. She farted as an answer. Okay. <laughs> You're gonna be so sweaty right now. What? You're just gonna be so sweaty right now. How does she do it? I don't know. She's just so good at it. Do you want it? Hmm. Do you want it? No, nah, no. Nah. You did not work for that. I really didn't. It's really easy for me. Dicky. Anyways, no, I'm not pregnant. And another question I did see was, you guys were curious if I'm on birth control, and I am not. Not on birth control, we're really just trusting Cam here. This one is a question for Cameron. Cameron, do you have any new music? <laughs> I do, actually. I have a lot of music. I got a lot of music. I've been working on music for a long time. Don't forget what was on your vision board. Fact. I really want to work on getting a team, like pushing stuff a little bit more. But right now I'm in like a practice trial run with just like how I want to push out everything in the beginning. I actually have plans doing a music video already. It's going to be fire. Like I can already see it. Like it's going to be fire. I already got the videographer, everything like tapped in and it's actually going to be a feature. If you have a song out right now that's like a feature with somebody. It's like when I was first trying to find my sound and everything. So I didn't really like it that much, but you know, if you want to find it, you can know how to find it. I'm excited for you to finally be able to get like recognition for the amount of time you put in. Yeah, I mean, even when I stream, sometimes I, I play leaks. Well, that's it. another question I was going to ask you next. Do you still stream? That's a question? Yeah, somebody wanted to know that. All right, so as far as streaming, guys, I've been so on and off. And the reason why is because I've been really sitting here thinking like if I really want to continue Twitch or if I just want to move to Kick because I'm so tired of the soft ass sensitive world. Like, and Kick is a platform where you don't have to be soft and sensitive. Like anything could be said, anything could be heard. Like I'm so done with like Twitch being so soft and the world being so soft and people being so soft. Like, like you guys should hear the way Cameron is. And he's always been like this. So don't think that he like changed up because of like the way that other people stream or whatever it is. You guys should hear Cameron off camera when he's gaming with his friends. <laughs> Have you guys, bro, I'm not the same person, on God. No, he's literally not the same person. He's on God. literally not the same person. On God, I'm not the same person, like, you, as you guys see right now, like. And if you heard him gaming like that, you'd probably be like, oh my God, the old Cameron would never have said these things. The old Cameron said those things. It's just you guys have never been exposed The reason why is because, like, I filter myself on here for you guys, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, I could be mad, I could really be myself and talk my shit, but, you know, I, I kind Like, we try to myself. keep cursing to a minimum. And like keep it like relatively like family friendly, especially now with Kyla and stuff like that. But Cameron, after Kyla goes to sleep, um, he's in his his game mode. God, people who who are on my stream, they know. Like I'm I'm ruthless. I want to go to Kick so I can really talk my shit on there mm -hmm. and really have fun with you guys, and you guys can really see like how I get down. But yeah, so yeah, I'm, I am I am, and I'm I'm gonna make my decision very 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 soon. I'm probably gonna go live tonight. Okay. Okay. So the next question is, what do you have advice wise for new people that want to like make content and stuff like that? So for me, one thing that I would give is be yourself. F that. Oh God. Everybody be saying be yourself. Da, da, da. Only a certain amount of people when they say be yourself, be yourself is going towards like you finally like locked down and you're finally like tuned in with like a rhythm, right? A lot of people just say be yourself and they're just following everybody else what everybody else say be yourself. They don't never give you an explanation. And I know you guys sit there when you guys hear that, you guys like that doesn't help me. Notice how anybody who tells so you, you were to be just yourself coming after my answer pretty much. Any facts. Anybody <laughs> who says be yourself and doesn't give you an explanation 
It's just giving you the same exact answer as everybody else who says be yourself on God. You could be yourself, but if you're just a lazy person and all you want to do as a content creator is show mm -hmm. your e -cig, you go ahead and do that and like you start to sit there and be like, yo, nothing's happening. And that's you being yourself, listen to the person. No, that's not how it goes. Okay. I'm going to sit here and say this. The first okay. thing that you need to do before you be yourself is find your niche, where you want to grow, where you want to excel at. And then once you get there, you buckle down and you come up with like you brainstorm ideas. And then that's when you kick in and be yourself. Like, but I still, you know what? You know what, though? Like at that point, after you do all that, you're not even the same person that you were. That's another thing that people need to realize is that like people change over time, like for the better. You know what I mean? Like people don't stay the same person for good reason Fast. majority yeah. of the time and once you start to see like results you're not gonna be yourself anymore. yeah no you're not the same person because you're you know maybe your self-esteem you is higher because you feel Fast. like the way that you were acting wow people actually like me for the way that i or truly am or, or sometimes you change because i hate comments so you, like you know what i'm saying like i'm gonna be honest social media 100 percent changed me and before social media like when i was in high school and stuff like that i was so quiet like Anybody in my graduating oh class and all that kind of stuff, they would know that this was not the Trisha that was given in high school. Like, I was so quiet to myself, did not talk to anybody. Now, like, even when random strangers, supporters come up to us, I'm engaging in conversation. Like, I want to hang out with you guys and all that stuff where, like, the old me would barely even talk to people I knew for years. So it's like, yeah, social media 100% changes people for the better. Some people, it's for the worse. But yes, when baby. I say be yourself, like be yourself in the best way for you if that makes sense okay baby daddy mommy is almost done okay look at her look at her look at her <laughs> hey baby hey baby uh people wanted to know if i have any plans for my personal channel so i've said this before and honestly i sometimes i get into a little bit of a rut where it's really hard for me to like differentiate what's going to be on our main channel vlog channel um what's being primarily posted just for snapchat what's being primarily posted just for stories reels tiktok there's just truly not enough hours in the day but i do want to get back into my personal channel but i might not overwhelm myself and i might just start it when we get into our home mm. just so that this way it's like a clean slate it can be like organizing videos it can be like unpacking videos it could be furniture shopping videos like things that Right now, I feel very overwhelmed with just everything. <laughs> Playing with Coco right now. Uh-huh. So Cam's washing his hands so he can get Kyla. But another question I saw, and you guys have to stay tuned on our Instagram stories, or like had to have been keeping up with our Instagram stories, is are we excited that both of our siblings are expecting? So if you guys didn't know, my sister's pregnant and also Cameron's sister's pregnant. And they're due literally, what, like six weeks apart or something like that, babe? Yeah. Super close apart, and they're both due around Kyler's birthday. Yes, we're very excited to be new aunts and uncles to our future niece and nephew. It's my first time being an uncle. Yeah, your first time. Well, blood uncle. You're an uncle to my nieces and nephews that I have right now, but... I'm talking about, like, blood. literally, like, like, literally an uncle. Like, mm -hmm. saying, like, you're my uncle. Like, right. I'm talking about, like, a real... Real deal, smeal, lemon squeezy, uncle. Yep. You're old enough that you can eat this with mommy and daddy, but right now you could definitely not eat this. No, no, this is way too spicy. I'll try some. Go ahead, try some. Guys, right, but that's it for today's video. Mugbang was fire. I love this spot that we go to. The crab is always fire. The potatoes is always hidden. I'm glad the gloves were. Everything hits. So we're going to end up the video right here. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Mm -hmm. If you guys want us to do another Q&A coming up very soon, um, let us know. And make sure you guys are on Snapchat and Instagram so you guys can, you know, post some questions. But make sure you guys do subscribe if you're new. Smash that like button. New house is coming very soon. Mm -hmm. We might do a little, like, house tour for you guys as it's, like, unfinished. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that as well. And we'll catch you guys in the next lit video say peace say bye 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 good girl <laughs> guys she's waving now i can't take it stay lit peace, peace.